So when I started doing DIY, I had an aversion to glue guns and wreaths. I just feel that they're a bit too girly for me. I'm definitely not a girly girly. Am I a girly girly? <laughs> but I'm breaking my rules today because I want to make one using branches and a template which you can download right now for free because I just made this on Canva. Dead simple. So I need something to stick the wood slices to it and I thought you could use cardboard but that's really only for indoors and that would be a cheaper, quicker way to do it if you're not really experienced with power tools. But because I plan to treat it, I'm going to use a scrappy piece of plywood. But let's first cut this down because it's massive. So I need a piece that is double the size of this because this is half of a heart for Valentine's Day. Maybe you want to make this for your partner, your wife, anybody who loves wreaths in heart shapes. Anyway, we need double of that. So I'm going to cut it down roughly and then cut this out. Right, let's get some PPE on. They're a bit dusty. I'm going to roughly cut it down to a manageable size first with a jigsaw, but you could use a handsaw if you wanted. I'm just using this because it's quick and I don't need to be accurate. Let me go and stroke my dog. Oh, you found a bed in the sawdust. I'm trying to be quick. Now I need to leave myself space for the other side of the heart, but this is not going to be shown. Let's just draw around it. This cut doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to cover it all with the wood slices. So even if you make a slightly dodgy cut, it just doesn't matter. I hope you can see that, but the reason I decided to cut a section out in the middle is because it'll take less time to clad the whole thing. And you can use this bit as a second wreath and even have it hanging from the bottom. We'll see if I've got time for that, but that, that's an idea. I've got a decision to make because there's two ways you can get into the center of this. I could cut a slice down the middle of the top of the heart because by the time I've cladded all of it, it would then be structural again, providing I can overlap that join with some slices, or drill a hole roughly anywhere around the edge and then create that as an access point for the jigsaw and cut around. And I'm going to do that because it's going to get hidden anyway with slices because I do plan to use this. We'll clamp to here. We'll have to keep moving this around because it will rattle like crazy. It would have been better on the bandsaw for that. Or a scroll saw. Right. Oh, I've got a little heart. So yeah, that I, um, I think I might use, tiny little heart. But I've also got now a, uh, a template as well. If you want to draw exactly the same heart and do several, you could keep that, but I don't want that. Flip it over, we've got our pencil line there. And I'm gonna cut around my main one with a jigsaw. We'll see how long I can cope with it because if it drives me mad with the clamps, I'm just gonna take it to the bandsaw. But if you have patience, even a coping saw, you don't have all these power tools at home, you can do it. You can do it. As we cut this, you're gonna find you've got less and less area to clamp it to a workbench. Hurrah! We have two templates. To clad the heart, I've got another decision to make. Do I go for an old branch that I found, which I've done a test cut, it does look quite seasoned, but if there's any damp in this, it may not adhere to the heart with a glue gun. I might have to use nails and all of the material is quite thin and I don't want it to be too heavy. The other thing is if I use this and it dries out over time, the heart will probably warp. So you need to make a decision whether you'll be okay with it warping because it's just a wreath. Or I could cut some slices from a broom handle. This is already seasoned. The only downside of this is it will take a lot more cutting to do, but it might look prettier. I found a pink one. This is quite cheap, they're usually about a couple of quid, but a branch is obviously free. So I'm gonna do a test cut first of this, just to get an idea. I think I'm more drawn to the branches though, because they're larger. So I've got a lot of cuts to do, so it just makes sense to settle the stock block, so I can quickly batch cut them. Now, I'm gonna do this on a radial arm saw, because it's here. You could easily set up a stock block in a mitre box and just do it that way with a handsaw. You can even do it with a jigsaw. But I do have a tip 
Now my dad reminded me that while you're cutting a branch, you need to keep it in the same position and move it along. Don't keep rotating it because obviously there's loads of knots on here, so you'll end up with really uneven cuts. So while I did some test cuts, I quickly realised it's better to go for the branch because these smaller pieces from the broom handle, it was just very unsafe, I kept, it was awkward to get to, and I'm not risking my fingers just for a heart wreath. So, <laughs> we're gonna go for these, and the large enough anyway, the cover of the whole heart, and any gaps that I can see, I can easily overlap them and hide the plywood. Now I've done a dry run, just to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. Let's get the glue gun on. This may not work, I might have to just use hammer and nails and hammer them from the back. <laughs> right, let's give it a go. Oops. Oh, see, see? Nope, wasn't happening. But you might want to try microwaving your slices on defrost setting to dry them out or bake low in the oven. Nope, it's wet. And now I'm making a quick decision to crack on with a hammer and nails from the back. I'm getting an idea of the position from the front, flipped it over to nail and repeated until it was all covered. But make sure your nails don't poke out from the other side. Okay, so, can you see me? The next challenge I've got, it's raining for a start, that doesn't help, and there's holes in the roof. But because it's wet wood, I don't think waterproof wood glue is actually going to work very well, but we're gonna try it. And I need slightly longer nails to go through both of them now. To reinforce them, I also added longer ones from the back. Here's a tip. If you are gonna try this, make sure you do this on a clean surface because this looks filthy. It might dry out okay though. Bit of pink, bit of pink, bit of blue. So once I've got all of my slices on, I brought it back home to our narrowboat, but then I needed to think about how to hang it up. So I just thought let's drill a couple of holes at the top, thread through and tie some natural twine there. I must admit I didn't bother treating it, I'm just gonna have it indoors. So I also found some burlap ribbon. I created a tap at the top if I ever wanted to hang it from there. I tapped it at the back, by hammering some nails in and bending them with a hammer. And to finish, I got that really rubbish glue gun, which I should take back, and hot glued some pink and red flowers on at the sides. So yeah, that's as girly a wreath as I'm ever gonna make. But I do have a question. Would you pay 57 pounds for this on Etsy? I hope not, because now you've got free plans and you know exactly how to do it. And you get two for the price of one. Catch my next one. Bye.